Hey all, welcome to Homeschool and we are with class 11 chemistry series and we are with the chapter structure of atom. In my previous video, I discussed everything about wave nature of electromagnetic radiation. I actually told how electromagnetic radiations are produced and how do they travel, what are the properties and various terms which are used. Uh, you know to describe electromagnetic radiation like frequency, velocity, wavelength and wave number and I gave you one important formula uh, which is relating C that is velocity with frequency and lambda that is C is equal to uh, new lambda right so I told you this is really a very very important formula whereas C is equal to speed of light in vacuum that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second whereas nu is equal to frequency and lambda is nothing but wavelength so today let us have a discussion on some problems some numericals on this particular formula See, initially I am doing all your NCRT textbook problems and later I will go for few problems that they have asked in competitive exams like NEET and JEE. Clear? And now let's look at this problem which is there in your NCRT textbook in text question. The Vivid Bharati station broadcast on a frequency this much 1368 kilohertz. Calculate wavelength of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, and, and this is our next question actually. Which part of electromagnetic spectrum does it belong to? Okay, see uh, in my previous class we discussed how this formula has come. If you have not yet watched that video, video link is provided in the description. Don't forget to go and watch. Right? Fine. And let's calculate this problem now. See what is given. Frequency is given. That is nu is given. How much? 1368 kilohertz. Okay. So uh, convert this into hertz. 1 kilo is what? 1000. Right. So kilo means 1000. That is 10 power 3. So let me write this as 1368 into 10 power 3 hertz. Right. Okay, so this is our frequency. They asked you to calculate lambda. Lambda is equal to question mark. Right. And what is C? C is always a constant value. Electromagnetic radiation in vacuum. It travels with the speed of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Right. So this is a value you should always remember. This value will not be given in a question. You must know it. Okay, so what is the relation we have? C is equal to nu lambda, right? So they asked you to calculate lambda. So lambda is equal to C divided by nu. So substitute the values. Lambda is equal to C is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second, right? And nu value, nu value is equal to how much? 1, 3, 6, 8 into 10 power 3 hertz okay so hertz in the sense per second right so second second get cancelled per second per second gets cancelled and just calculate this how much do you get so uh, 3 divided by 1368 if you do you would be getting it around 0 0.00219 Okay, so into 10 power 8 into, if this goes above, you will get 10 power minus 3. So, 0 0.00219 into 10 power 5 meters, right? So, this uh, point, if I shift it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I can write it as 219 into 10 power minus 5 into 10 power 5 meters. This, this get cancelled. So, you will have 219 meters. Say it's a quite a long uh, wavelength, right? Wavelength is very much high and it's a radio station. Definitely, uh, which part of electromagnetic spectrum does it belong to? It belongs to radio waves. So, this much high wavelength you will observe in case of radio waves. 
clear so i told you radio waves uh, size can be you know it can ha it it can have as long as a tall building okay so uh, very much high wavelength you would observe in radio waves right so this is how you have to solve the problem this is much simple one okay and uh, just like this you can observe the second problem here read out this guys and this is also a problem from ncrt textbook in text question wavelength range of visible spectrum extends from 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer we all know our visible region right uh, see that uh, that is our white light which is made up of seven colors that is vib gaya isn't it and you know violet uh, radiations wavelength is 400 nanometer and red lights wavelength is 750 nanometer right wavelength increases from violet to red so wavelength they give and the wavelengths you must express and you must convert them into frequencies right so that's what they asked you express these wavelengths in frequencies okay say uh, if it is a 400 nanometer if you want to talk this in terms of frequency what do you tell right how do you tell so that's what they are asking you so uh, say what is given L let's calculate for violet light okay so for for violet radiation let's calculate its frequency so what is given lambda is given lambda is how much 400 nanometer convert this into meters 1 nanometer is equal to 10 power minus 9 okay so 1 nanometer is equal to 10 power minus 9 meters 1 picometer is equal to 10 power minus 12 meters if it is given in angstrom 1 angstrom is equal to 10 power minus 10 meters okay so these are the converse of conversion factors you must always remember in case of chemistry okay so 400 nanometer convert this into meters so 400 into n means what 10 power minus 9 meters always you must convert that into meters okay fine and now uh, we know the value of c c is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second right and they are asking new what is new so what is your formula we know uh, our where is that yeah c is equal to new lambda right so we want to calculate new here so new is equal to c by lambda right so new is equal to c is 3 into 10 power 8 divided by lambda is uh, you know 400 nanometers that is 400 into 10 power minus 9 meters okay so meter per second right so meter meter gets cancelled so answer you will get it per seconds that is you are getting it in hertz okay so 3 divided by uh, you know 400 how much do you get you would get around 0.0075 into 10 power 8 into 10 power this if it goes to numerator 10 power 9 right so this will be 0.0075 into 10 power 17 so this point let me bring it here so can i write it as 7.5 into uh, 1 2 3 right so 10 power minus 3 into 10 power 17 so this one will be 7.5 into 10 power 14 hertz right so new value for violet light radiation is 7.5 into 10 power 14 hertz so similarly calculate for calculate for red radiation so for red radiation what is the lambda given lambda given is 750 nanometer so 750 into 10 power minus 9 meters so here new is equal to c by lambda which is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second 
right divided by lambda value 750 into 10 power minus 9 meter so meter meter cancel you will get your answer in per second that is you are getting it in hertz right so when you calculate new value is equal to 4.00 into 10 power 14 hertz you will get okay so new value for red radiation is this much so your frequency range from violet to red light is from 7.5 into 10 power 14 hertz to uh, 4.00 into 10 power 14 hertz. See, wavelength was increasing from violet right to red light, whereas frequency is decreasing. You see, 7.5 to 4, that means frequency decreases. So, as wavelength increases, frequency always decreases. Okay, so at least for some of the numericals uh, for uh, 11th and 12th concerned, you must remember wavelength range of uh, uh, white, white light as well as frequency range of white light. So, this can be helpful for solving few of the questions. Okay, so this is about the problem and now we will go for few more problems. Read out the third problem guys. Calculate lambda Okay, so that is wavelength. You have to calculate wavelength. Okay, and then mu that is frequency. Mu in the sense frequency. And mu bar that is wave number. Wave number. So these are the three things you need to calculate and see what is given. Whose uh, period, time period is 2.0 into 10 power minus 10 seconds. So what do you mean by a time period? So they have given time period. So how much is the time period they gave you? 2.0 into 10 power minus 10 seconds. Okay. Say time period is given for a particular radiation and they ask you to calculate wavelength, frequency and wave number. See here, time period is nothing but time taken for one wave to cross a point. Okay. So it is time. Time taken by one wave to cross a particular point is called as time period. Okay. And this time period is always inversely proportional to frequency. Is inversely proportional to frequency. So T means what guys? Time period. So this is what you have to remember. So time period is always inversely proportional to frequency okay fine so now time period is given and they asked you to calculate all the three say you can easily calculate frequency right so here frequency is equal to 1 by t okay so t is nothing but your time period so frequency is equal to 1 divided by time period is 2.0 into 10 power minus 10 seconds right so uh, it would be how much 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 you would get right so frequency is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 power this if it goes to numerator 10 10 per second okay so nu is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 power 10 hertz per second is nothing but hertz so this is your frequency so once you know the frequency, I think you can calculate lambda, right? So how do you calculate lambda here? Lambda is equal to C by nu, isn't it? So lambda is equal to C is how much? 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second divided by a, a new a frequency just now you calculated. It is 0 0.5 into 10 power 10 uh, uh, per second. Hertz means per second. So this, this gets cancelled and you can calculate lambda, right? So how much is the lambda you will get here? So 3 divided by 0 0.5 is 6, right? So 6 into 10 power 8 into if it goes to numerator 10 power minus 10, right? So lambda is equal to 6 into 10 power minus 2, right? Meters. So this is the lambda you are getting. So this is your lambda, right? Fine. And now uh, you have to calculate wave number. So new bar in the sense what? Wave number. Right. So new bar is equal to 1 by lambda. 
right so you just have to do 1 divided by 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters so that is around 0.1 into 10 power 2 uh, meter inverse right so your new bar value is this much so this much is your new bar value so that's it right so your time period is given and you have to calculate the three properties of the wave right so a major thing that you have to remember is time period is inversely proportional to frequency okay fine and now coming to the fourth question much easier one that and this is the homework for question for you all uh, see read out the question LO light emitted from a sodium lamp has wavelength 580 nanometer so you have to calculate frequency that is mu and you should also calculate the wavelength that is nu bar okay so uh, calculate both frequency and wave number in their standard units post the answer in the comment box okay so let me check it out who will be the first person to post the answer fine so these are the different problems that can be asked on this wave nature of electromagnetic radiation particularly on the equation c is equal to lambda nu okay so very 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 important relation so in my next class i will start with particle nature of electromagnetic radiation okay see we are talking about dual nature means electromagnetic radiation has two nature one is particle nature the other one is wave nature so far we discussed was about wave nature and this wave nature was proved by the experiments of diffraction and interference okay so this diffraction and interference experiments tells that electromagnetic radiations in the atmosphere they travel in the form of a wave but few experiments like photoelectric effect and black body radiation and they are telling that no no this radiation is not moving like a wave but these radiations are moving in the form of particles okay so that's what we mean by particle nature of electromagnetic radiation so this particle nature we will discuss in the next class and we will also discuss about what is that photoelectric effect and black body radiations which are actually the proof for telling electromagnetic radiation will move in the form of particles okay so that's all about today's class and uh, you can uh, go through various numericals that's there in your ncrt textbook so few are these numericals and this is how questions can be asked for competitive exams also uh, so that's all so do subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easiest way and in a detailed way thank you so much meet you all in the next class